Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to wirelessly mirror your Chromebook, your laptop, a desktop, or even a MacBook to your IFP. What this will allow you to do is has flexibility to move around the room and give you a wireless connection between what you're working with and displaying on the IFP. The first thing that you need to have on your IFP is this. You need to have the My View Board Display app. If you don't have the app, teachers in our district can download it and install it with their permissions through the software center. I want to show you how to do that. So first, you'll go right here to the search. You will type in Software Center. What? As soon as you do that, look what pulled up. Software Center app. Just click on that and open it. Now, these are all different programs or apps in our district that are permission for teachers to install on their own. So, for example, this one right here is the FCPS My View Board Display app. They just click on that to install it, and then click the install, and then it will install on their machine. There's some other applications that they could choose from as well, such as the My View Board Whiteboard app. Um, also, there's VLC Media Player, and there's Google Drive and File Stream and other things. Okay, so after you've done that, you can then go to the My View Board Display app and open it. Now, I'm going to switch out between my keyboard and I'm going to get on my Chromebook here. And these are things that it's asking me to do to display. On my device, my mobile device, I'll go to myviewboard.com slash display. And then I'll use this, this display code to type that in, and that is the IFP connection. That code is only for this IFP. Okay, you don't have to type in the dashes. After you've done that, you'll type in the password. So let's look over here to my Chromebook and see what's going on there. So on my Chromebook, I'll open up a new tab. I'll type in myviewboard.com and then slash display. When I do that, it takes me to the screen right here. And so it asks me for the display code from the IFP. It is 9415736186. And then it's asking for a password. My password is about to expire. It's 3093. I can type that in pretty quickly though. And then I'll click on present. And then it's going to ask me which which screen I want to share on my Chromebook. So if I had multiple screens open, then I would choose the one that I want to share. I only have one on this one though, so I'll click share. And then you can probably see what's going on on both screens now. On the IFP, it's waiting for that sender to share a screen. And it looks like we're going to connect here in just a second. So on the Chromebook, it says I'm, just, I'm sharing my screen. And now you can see exactly what's going on as I move my mouse around the Chromebook and also it moves the mouse on the IFP because I'm sharing my screen. So I'm just going to minimize that. And so now I have the flexibility to move around the classroom and I can go to like a Google slide deck that I have and I can go full presentation mode if I want. And now I am not attached to the IFP. I can control everything here and mirror it from my Chromebook. So if I want to go through the slide deck, I can do that and it's really easy to do. This gives us a great chance to go ahead and move around the classroom, use classroom management practices. And if a student needs help, you can help that student. If a student is having a bad day, you can sit next to them and try to calm them down. If you need to just present from the back of the classroom instead of the front, this is a really easy way to do that. Think about using this in small groups, how powerful that could be. Having your whole group look at the IFP and their lesson but yet working with the students that are in the small group. So I don't suggest that you share videos this way. It could be choppy, the audio could be bad, um, but there's a different reason that you can use like static pictures like a, a Google slide deck would have or showing a Google doc where you have the directions for the day, or maybe it's a calendar, whatever you're using, maybe it's an exit ticket. You can use those static images that don't change a lot like a video would and then you can have that flexibility to move around the classroom. So this is how you can use the display app to mirror your Chromebook to your IFP or even use your laptop, MacBook, or desktop. See you next time.